Hello everyone. This is a replay of my round three match of the Metroid Prime Randomizer 2023 tournament, originally broadcasted on Speed Gaming. Quick shout outs and thank you to Speed Gaming for hosting myself, the tournament, and the many other events and races that are ongoing. Please show your support to Speed Gaming at both twitch.tv slash speedgaming and youtube.com slash at speedgaming channel. Thank you. Alrighty, hello folks. Welcome to another match in the week three, round three of the Metroid Prime Randomizer Tournament. I'm your commentator, Samuel6010, with my co-commentator, Pirouette. Say hello. Howdy, howdy. Yes, and today we've got race uh, with Jeff Gaines and Games versus Aldraxxus. Nothing too fancy except the advent of Dorando. Yes, yes, we're not having any runner's agreements today. We are just going to be playing the standard settings for this week, which are pretty non-standard already. Door randomizer tends to throw a lot of... It, it tends to throw a spanner into things. Makes things a lot more yeah, complicated. Yeah, at least. Do you have any favorites right. going into this race? Um, Jeff is probably the one I'm rooting for. I'm just... Jeff has been had quite the upset for round one unfortunately uh did not go as well round two but let's see i'm not quite jeff sure who i want practicing. to win that's sort of a different question but i do feel like i'm preferring jeff for this match in terms of my like prediction brain like if i had to make a bet i'd put it on jeff and we are going to be underwear it's, very it's very strong gameplay yeah Aldraxis is also a very good player so this is hardly a sure thing Definitely. And we are off. So we have a vanilla start with uh, That's an everything on beginner. That's the move, door but, to yeah. temple, right? Artifact temple, yes. Super missile on alcove. Wonderful. And Great. there's a missile expansion and landing site, but we can't get it until we have morph ball. All right, thanks for syncing our runners. Yep, thank you to our trackers for help managing the stream. Baja Blood and Born Traveler. Yes, yes, it's fantastic that we have two trackers for this race. Uh, it, it's been a bit tricky getting uh, enough people for every race since there are just so many happening in one week. Oh, yeah. But it's a definitely lot. very nice that we have those for uh, this race. Yeah. Looked like the end of Root Tunnel was inaccessible, so Aldrak is making their way over to Chozo now. Now, why is their feed all dark now? Is there are they on like a capture card or something? Uh, I know Aldrak is. Huh. That would explain it because it just kind of went, it just drastically dropped in brightness for a second there. Well, it still is. Yep. That was a missile and grapple wedge. We're in shrine, like by bombs. Power bomb expansion in the half pipe. Uh, vault ledge, I can't quite make out. That's morph ball bombs. bombs. Okay. Bombs don't have a lot of uh, glow or contrast, so it's not always easy to see them, especially in our current predicament. Yeah, definitely. But a PV expansion that early on, which is uh, interesting. Yes, definitely. We're going to be able to grab that as soon as we get either Morphin Boost or the Space Jump Boots. Yeah. Also, a good point with uh, Transport Access North, because we are not sure whether or not the game expects us to go through it with Morph Ball to grab bombs, or we need Space Jump to get there, because we could very well softlock without bombs. That's correct. We don't always know what the door out of uh, Tan is going to be, so it's very, very possible that we soft lock ourselves if we go in there blind. There's our more. Yep. We Speaking can't go there now because we... Oh, never mind. We don't have a missile shield right now. We are going to get missiles here, though. And we're going to morph okay, right out. Yeah, yeah checking Blue the door. door there. Blue doors can still be uh, 
uh, missile blast shields, super missile blast shields, power bomb blast shields, or bomb doors. They can also be charge beam doors, but we don't have those currently shuffled. Okay, that's. Don't you need blue. bombs to go backwards through that? You do. Alright, uh, looks like we are going to be at least making it to Vault. Uh, I don't know what the uh, door from Vault to the uh, Plaza hallway is going to be. That's an X-ray visor huh? in Vault. Yeah, we can pick that up immediately. Mm, yeah, yeah, we're just going to have to grab the bombs here on Vault Ledge first. Yeah, we've seen a fair amount of OP this tournament, so the trend may continue. Entirely possible. Don't die also, to the scares. I did not even notice the wave door uh, going into Sun Tower there. Good to note for the future if we ever end up doing Flogger. X-ray secured. Boom. That's going to make Essence a lot easier already. Definitely. Careful not to take more damage to the Scarabs. You also got a 10 drop, which is nice. Now that we have bombs, we can uh, look at this Ruined Shrine. Yep, we will be able to not inherently get all the items, but we can peek the one that we uh, can't. That's a that looks, looks like, like a various suit. suit. No, no, yeah. no, that's phase on or not gravity. 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 <laughs> they do look pretty similar from a distance. Yes, yes, they do. We won't be able to check the item up on top of that half pipe because we don't really have a good way to get up there right now. We already got the item, so we can just go through this morph tunnel. If you haven't gotten that item, if Audraxus had tried to leave straight away, uh, the tunnel would actually have an invisible wall blocking access. But because we got the item, we can just roll right out. Yeah, picking up the item also uh, works as a trigger to block or unblock that tunnel. Also, yes. Jeff immediately Engage going to check Rune Gallery, should I mention. Hmm. Yeah, we are going to be able to get both items. Grapple Beam is in the gallery tunnel. Okay. Not terribly important, the wall. but not something we'll miss out. Yeah, I think Jeff's routing is more beneficial here. Nice plasma door leading to the save station. That is unfortunately a bug. We do have a setting enabled that is supposed to leave them all blue doors, but they've recently not been functioning appropriately. I think that's the map station, actually. The save station is in Ruined uh, Nursery. Yes, Jeff opened his map in Ruined Nursery, and uh, there was a plasma door blocking it. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. I got mixed no up because I just saw the super door oh, on Jesus. the map station. Adrexus, and, uh, please be very slightly cautious. Oh no, there's, <laughs> there's a plasma door there. Uh, you will take damage, by the way, if your projectiles bounce back into you off of a door that you can't open. They Not will. very much damage. Oh, yeah, it's a very small amount. Like, the uh, individual power pallets don't always even deal an entire damage to you. Right, Jeff also going to secure that gravity suit. This gravity suit is nice for the damage hold. resistance, if nothing else. Yeah. We're not going to complain about that. What was that in Rune Fountain? It looked like something. I think that was just a missile. Ah. Uh. 
Alright, to the rest of Midchoza we go. For a second I was getting oh. concerned at Adraxus climbing up Arboretum, but I remember we just don't have any jump items right now. Yeah. We have to do some shenanigans to reverse this room pretty quickly. Yes, the ledge on the door to Gathering Hall is actually a bit too high to actually jump up to it with just a single jump. Actually, can you do that if you have Gravity Suit? I'm not sure. Um, the one in Arboretum? Yeah, the one in Arboretum. You can actually just jump straight to the door from that platform Jeff just been uh, Yeah, yeah you but... can do it like an L jump or whatever. I've seen that. Though. You might but be I'm able to jump like, out If you're in the suit. poison water, can you just jump out of the water straight onto the ledge? I think you can. You can also bomb jump out, regardless of whether or not you have gravity. Yeah, bomb jump is completely free. There's no way a bomb jump doesn't make that. Looks like a missile in Upper Watery Hall. We are still going to want to check Dynamo, though. Yeah, Lower, e, or, excuse me, lower Watery Hall is currently in logic for us, thanks to, thanks to that uh, gravity suit. Yes. That super missile super. in Lower Dynamo. That's actually going to be very significant. Normally, Super Missile is a pretty niche item. It it, it doesn't do nothing for us in the uh, base game, but there are very few checks where we uh, really need the Super Missile. Those are going to be a main tree in uh, main plaza. We also need it for Research Lab Hydra, uh, Metroid Quarantine B, uh, going into Sun Chamber through the back, uh, Shorelines, right? Yes, the Lighthouse. Yes, the lighthouse. There's and, several miscellaneous uh, checks. Yeah, it's just a bunch of random crap that you basically just don't worry about until you do. But Super Missile is going to be just absolutely pivotal for us now. Because now we're going to be seeing a lot of Super Locks on doors. We already saw one on that uh, map station. Not that, that we're going to be going into opening that, but there's going to be more. In fact, there already was one on uh, Alcove, if memory serves. So that's an item that's now accessible to us because of those super missiles. Ordinarily, that's the first item that you get uh, when you start a new seed, because that door is normally a blue door, and you can just scan dash across trivially with any item set. However, mm -hmm. again, we have that super lock there, so it's only just now open to us. And Jeff's going to be grabbing the super missiles as well now. Yep. This also puts uh, the main plaza tree in logic. Nobody took the time to yeah. peek that, so we will probably want to backtrack to grab that at some point. Yeah, the peek is a little bit slow, and since we're going to be getting supers uh, almost guaranteed in these kinds of seeds, it's not usually worth it. Yeah. Also, the door to I East Atrium is a nice door. Ooh. I see. Interesting. Yeah. So, I'm going to be doing a warp to start by Aldraxxus here. There's nothing much else logically we can check in Chozo besides the tree. Is East State Tree oh, in the room that connects you to Energy Core? Yes. Thank you. I only remember I guess the. It really connects of to Core. Energy Core access. Yeah, when in case. doubt, small hallways, just it's whatever room is connecting to it access. Yeah, I know the name of all the actual rooms, and not the uh, fake rooms. Mm. They're they're really just uh, playable loading screens. That's space jump in Cricket <laughs> Craft Site. Not oh, surprising. We can logically get that with Grapple. Jeff opting to check the main plaza tree immediately though, and then go through the Talon through the elevator. Struggling a bit with the uh, Grapple beam here. It's definitely yeah, understandable. Have... Gravity suit actually makes this harder, in my opinion. Because you fall down so much faster. You get a lot more grab, or sorry, drag is what I meant to say, when you have no gravity Ooh. suit. There was plasma beam in the tree. Ooh. Very nice. And I did thought that artifact temple was locked by ice, but I think I looked at the map again and it looked like it was a plasma beam door. So Jeff will be able to get space jump and hints in the same trip. And a super lock on the uh, frigate door. Interesting. Hmm. At this point, uh, we are missing Thermal Visor, which we will need regardless of doors. So, Frigate's not in logic right now. 
And obviously it's yeah. just impossible because we don't have the wave beam. So Aldrax is going to be climbing up to our own cabin here, just to grab the item. We can also try and go on to further uh, Chozo, but eh, it's a little weird. With Dorando, it does put a lot in logic, and even if the door to Reflecting Pool is locked, we can just take a quick pivot save warp. Yes, we might find something in the antechamber, though. That's pretty close by, isn't it? It is, yeah. But let's just hope the doors are friendly about it. Mm, yes. Plasma. Ooh, there's a plasma wah, door. Wah, wah. Not going to be getting any save either. We're just going to have to go back out the way we came. Yep. Now, interesting, Jeff is going to be able to do that if he decides to go that route. Because he does have the plasma. Yep. There's an E-tank. First one of the seed. Not going to yeah, complain about that at all. That's fantastic. We were uh, having some interesting moments uh, <laughs> a, a, bit, a little bit ago in Chozo, so it's definitely nice to see our first E tank. Yep. I wonder if Jeff opts to try and climb for a crash site to go to over in Cavern. I don't think so, but we might see. We it's might be able to, to get an early antechamber. Jeff just barely missed that. Mm. Oof. Open again. This is actually what puts uh, Frey at Craft Side out of the logic early on without Space Jump is our grapple beam. It's a beginner movement trick. There we go. There we go. Jeff is probably going to go grab hints. Unless we get another door blocking our way in our effect temple. Was the door to uh, the end of Root Tunnel locked by supers? Uh, it was locked like by something. Uh, on the mini map uh, on Adraxis, it looks like it's a wave door. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, it looked like Jeff got blocked by a door going to Artifact Temple. Yes. And it appears that not a plasma was. door, actually, and not an ice door like I thought it was at the beginning of the seat. Well, we can't do anything else here, so time to go back to Chozo. Hadraxis is going to get that plasma beam now. I'm probably going to feel a little bit upset. What was Tower of Light blocked by? If it was blocked by anything, that is. Spider Ball in uh, Upper Shrine. Very mm -hmm. nice find yeah. for uh, Traxxas. And it appears it was a super lock on the door to Tower of Light access. Ah, that's a power bomb door. Yeah. And no can do. We'll need the uh, expansion from main plaza first. Yeah. Just Jeff Bobber did away. grab that, so gonna be able to do this first pass. Oh, very nice.
I think Aldraxxus may have forgotten that the PB expansion was in the half pipe. It's possible, it's possible. Depending on what we find here, this could be really good for Jeff. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Tower Chamber. I don't know exactly what kind of door that is. It looks blue to me. Oh, that's Ooh. a very suit. That's humongous. Nice. That's very good. Tower of Light once again having progression. Um, I think that was a power bomb door. Yes, and we only have the one power bomb, so we're gonna have to come back for that later. I guess we'll just have to finish this later. Now these scarabs here are really good for dropping power bombs. Let's see if Jeff yeah. just hops to take them out and go back. There's one. Yeah, three actually. These guys are really good for them. So, looks like Aldraxxus made his way back through Gathering Hall. And since he got Plasma, I'm assuming he thinks that Artifact Temple is going to be the answer here, but we know that Tower of Light actually is. Although, this is non-logical because we need main PVs. So I'm assuming main power bombs are going to be nearby. Yes. Yeah, that's a power bomb door on Artifact Temple. Ontrax just confirmed it for us. Yep. Jeff's uh, game is a little bit frozen. You can see his timer isn't, which is worrying. Uh, Jeff Gaines in good. Gaines says, Looks I like crash? He said he question crashed. mark, question mark, in the uh, race time chat. Yeah, that's, that's peculiar. A less than ideal. That's really, really unfortunate. That may uh, end up uh, causing the TOs to uh, reschedule this match or something like that. It's If it's a pretty big crash. Because that didn't feel like a, just the game crashing. Like, it, 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 it didn't give me the vibe of, like, oh, you didn't do the maze in Central Dynamo, where it's, like, the player's fault. I just, that one just felt kind of random. It might well just yeah. be a door rando thing. I'm not sure when Jeff last saved. Oh, we have a talent save. Uh, we have Plasma uh, Beam, we have X-Ray. So we'll have lost our uh, power bombs. We'll have lost our berry suit. It's okay. At least it wasn't that Jeff hadn't saved at all. And we even still have our space jump. We also, uh, let's see. Ooh. Oh, it's Ice Beam. Ice Beam and Upper Dynamo. We also lost our Spider Ball because that was an Upper Shrine. Yeah, but not, not bad. At least we have a, still have a lot of information on those checks. Yeah, we have a bit of an info, an info advantage, certainly. Audraxus still does not have power bombs. Not even an expansion. Yeah. I'm assuming we're going to find the power bombs on Zoid, maybe. Alright, re secured that expansion. Gets the spider ball back. Yep. Oh, Drax is making their way to Zoid. There's a blue door, so I'm assuming this is where I'm supposed to be. Uh, I probably would have just gone back to grab a quick power bomb refill, unless Jeff is just no longer interested in uh, doing tower chamber. <laughs> oh, 
them down. Uh, it may be possible that they're just kind of doing things in a bit of uh, an odd order. It is a minor concern that very I may pull Jeff towards Magmore before he's supposed to. Although, yeah, I feel like you probably know that beam. the expansion isn't logical. And we may or may not see Ice Cream doors locking Magmore that may force him to go that way anyways. So back of Zoid was nothing. Oh. Jeff is asking if a TO can let him know at some point if that's a bug for both players or just for Jeff. We do not know because Eldrax has not been that way yet. Is going to be grabbing a quick power bomb here, but not going back to Tower of Light, it seems. Yes. Well, I didn't quite see, but I'm assuming Zoid was dead. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know, that plasma door in Farchozo is making me think that main power bombs are going to be in the Elder Chamber, maybe? Oh, that would be wild. Well, to be honest, why else would you have plasma? There haven't been any plasma doors blocking us, really. It's just been ice doors. For furnace, is a missile that looks like. Yeah, that's a missile. All right, Jeff revisiting uh, Dynamo. We'll just correct, get that ice beam there. I re always really hate. Uh, the fact that we have to isolate this check pretty early on. Yeah, it can that always be inconvenient. like inaccessible. It's like, can't go to crossway through that way. Already there is My ice chef's beam. got the ice beam as well. So we have pretty much parity. Yep, except Jeff is carrying that very in the back pocket. Aldraxxus uh, mistakenly tries to use plasma against the ghosts. That's not going to work. Is that a thing in Remastered? I know that they are uh, a big remastered speedrunner. Uh, I'm not sure. Nicely done with that cutscene overlap. Save the time it takes to watch both of these cutscenes to completion. here. There's launcher. There's okay. our, that's logical missiles. That's where they were? What? Peculiar. They always tend to be in wacky locations. Was my prediction for Elder Chamber correct? 
Oh my. Not God. exactly. Okay. All beams. All beams. 30 minutes is. Uh, that's a pretty reasonable all beams. You, you see that pretty often. That's pretty speedy. Albeit, this is Dorando, and we still have the opportunity for beam combos to lock everything. I'm assuming that's something important in Crossway because Aldrax is interested in it. Flamethrower, people are saying. And yeah, that was just a missile on Zoid. Crossway is very much not in logic because we need Boost Ball to get it. But we know that if that is Flamethrower, uh, that a Flamethrower, or rather Boost Ball, cannot be Flamethrower locked. Getting this item in Crossway via this way, uh, I had a huge misconception about because it's a very specific amount or very specific circumstances that you need to have fulfilled in order to actually slide in and grab that item. Because Samus is just barely small enough to fit inside. Yeah, it's very, very tight. You have to morph at just the right time. You have to have like the exact right amount of velocity. Because if you're moving slightly too fast, up or down, you, you just move kind of past it instantly. Like, yeah. it, it, it's super uh, tricky. But we get it pretty easily. It's going to be our flamethrower for Draxus. Very nice to have. All right, so this allows us to go through the rest of Farchozo here. And that power bomb is going to allow Jeff to go straight to Crossway this way. Although it's not going to have Wave. I don't know what the door to Elder Hall access is, but we'll see. Just going to be grabbing that flamethrower very quickly now. Yep, you love to see it when beam combos like this get recognition. Nice, first try. That was slick. That was slick. Secret tunnel. And greeted by a wave door. Secret Tunnel Part 2. Woo. Just an easy anchor anti chamber. Okay. Uh, Great Tree Chamber Depression? That's a flamethrower door. Hello. We came prepared. A warp to start. Interesting. Hmm. That's odd, given that it seems power that bombs. we can go to Great Tree Hall. We're missing power bombs, and it's starting to really hurt on Draxus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why Aldraxxus avoided going to uh, the elevator that sends you to right tree hall. Because I believe that was just a plasma door. Oh, it's main PBs. Oh, there's main PBs. 
All right, so that's been in logic for a little while now. Armor chamber is just blue, but it doesn't have anything. I guess the validator in door randos if you find missile launcher. So Jeff's probably going to get that main power bomb not too long. It's not optimal trying to deal with a lot of power bomb doors with just one. Not great. That's gonna be our wave beam. Jeff now has all beams. Yep, nice. Just gotta do a bomb jump here in order to get to this door. Is going back, which is odd. I think he forgot that he actually Maybe got crossway. Oh, wait, no, he uh, had to reload the room to because uh, the statue moves and you can't use any of the uh, bomb slots. Aldrax is moseying their way over to finally grab hints. Hopefully, given that the store is cooperative. And... Yep, that's another problem door. Or a super? I think it's power bombs. Yep. There's boost. Okay, that puts our flamethrower in logic. That also allows us to uh, get life grow tunnel and life grow, given that they're not blocked off by a beam combo. Indeed, indeed. All right, getting artifact hits. We first get training chamber, PCA hat, warrior shrine. I only saw four hints there. Not sure. What happened to the two others? I think there might have been a little bit of stream lag. But a nice PCA artifact, once again, along with Hydraxis Tunnel and Training Chamber, which are not exactly good. Along with the uh, French Vanilla Warrior Shrine. But I didn't see the two others. Oh, the other two were Life Grove and Fiery Shores. Okay. All right. So, uh, these aren't good hints, to say the least. But I don't think we're locking anything that isn't uh, door-related. We already have Fire Bombs, X-Ray Visor, only thing that can screw us over is that elusive wave buster and ice spreader. So does Jeff hightail it back to Life Grove the same way Eldrax is doing, or does he, after finding those main power bombs, which I'm assuming he will, 
uh, realize that Magmor is completely logical now and go that way. It's hard to say. We still do have that very suit up on uh, Atraxus, so we definitely have the options. I'm liking their position either way. Oh, there's another power room door. <laughs> Jeff only has the one. Well. I'm gonna go back. Nothing in Great Tree Chamber. Nice bomb jump to get up there. There's thermal. thermal. Okay. That puts Frigate completely in logic, which is a little scary. Meanwhile, Jeff securing boost. And also Life Grove Tunnel being Life Grove Tunnel. Drax is getting bonked by all the collision in this room. Alright, so Jeff has uh, some options here. But it looks like Root Cave and Arbor Chamber are our first pit stops. Gonna be checking hands as well. There's the PCA and there's the hat. So the only things that we'll have to go on a wild goose chase for will be. Wave Buster, Nice Spreader, and Phase on Suit. Yes. So Drax is going to be doing Bar Skip real quick. Probably going to be securing Hydraxis Tunnel ASAP and maybe even considering doing the rest of Frigate. Because that is completely in logic. And I guess with in that sense, if Frigate is also completely accessible, then Mines is logical for us to go that way. That may be a little concerning because we know various suit is just chilling in Tower of Light, so Aldraxis may be sent the wrong way. Yeah, they might get uh, led down the garden path. So Jeff finally finding main PBs, realizing that they are now completely logical to be used, and that various suit is now in the logic chain. It looks like Aldraxxus gave up on the doing bar skip there. It is a pretty tough trick. Definitely one of the most infamous ones that you want to use, but you know it's pretty sucky. Yeah. Alright, so Jeff is going to be going to Magmore immediately. It's going to be missing on that thermal, but that's far from a big deal. Yeah, that's no real concern. We'll have to route it in later, which might be a little bit weird. So Drax is going to warp to start. Um, there's two main options here, and that is go through Frigate or do your Chozo checks that you have access to. And the answer is... I'm not sure yet. Meanwhile, on the other hand, 
Uh, fiery Shores is... Uh, the, up, the upper Fiery Shores item, rather, is going to be our effect. It's a nice Warrior Shrine. We're going to get an artifact there, and then immediately after, we get another one. That would definitely be, uh, you know, that would be a nice way for this to play out. Hopefully um, it goes that smoothly. Don't think Jeff Checkle was in Shore Tunnel. Let's take a look-see. That is a Power Expansion. Going to be grabbing that since... PB drops tend to be the antithesis of what <laughs> random races are all about. Looks like Adraxus is going the other way to go through Frigate. And they could find one of our other beam combos down here, which could be really good. Or even Phazon Suit. Because going yeah, for that Phazon Suit hint will take a long time. Yeah, if we can find the face on suit along the way, that's almost always going to be better. Oh, wow. Artifact of Warrior and Warrior Shrine. Perfect. If only that was how the vanilla game was actually like. Yeah, the vanilla game and has there's some there's the actual vanilla artifact. <laughs> interesting ideas. Artifact of Strength is artifacts. indeed a vanilla one. Yeah, that's the reason Artifact of Strength is so tiny. It's so it can fit in the hands of that Shozo statue. Right. Thankfully, Gravity Sue makes going through Forget much faster and more trivial. Missile and Gargoyle Freightless. Okay, nothing there. Two more Jeff rounds. taking TTA real quick, but it's going to do the rest of Magmore before heading into Fen. Let's hope Odraxus doesn't run into too many more PP doors, or else they might be in a little bit of trouble looking for drops. What is in there? I can't see because the gamma is so very, very high. Yeah, this got. Oh, the drone eats the super. Oh, wow. Missile. Ah, uh, just a missile. So, yeah, unfortunately, Frigate itself did not have any progression. We will be able to go get Hat and perhaps go through the rest of. Uh... Oh. It looks like Odraxis thought that was a PB door. We also have recently had some bugs with doors in Frigate, with Blast Shields being not outwardable, especially doors that are activated with Power Conduits. Probably should be okay. Hopefully. Yeah, this store looks like it's going to open up without an issue. So far, Magmor has not had anything of note besides our artifacts. We do get our artifact from Hydro Axis Tunnel, of course. Hmm, nice. Also, just nothing in Lava Lake, so... Mid and early Magmore were... Had no progression. But it looks like Jeff is not going to hightail it back to go to Fent. Is instead going to... The safe station? He's probably also thinking about Life Grove and, uh... Whatnot. Although, it looks like instead we're gonna go to... Chozo is maybe thinking about reverse Flagra. We have the, all the resources to do it really quickly.
So two very different locations here. Odraxus has entered mines, whereas Jeff is all the way back in Chozo. I'm curious to see what Jeff is looking for at the moment. I guess we do have Magma Pool and Training Chamber X progression. We can also grab Training Chamber Artifact on the way. Besides that, though, um, I don't think there's anything else of note. Yeah, our options are getting pretty limited at this point. I'm assuming that Jeff is also going to proceed to the rest of Farchozo to try and get Life Grove and uh, create Tree Chamber as well. That would make a lot of sense. Alright, Magma Pool, just a missile looked like. Just a FYI for those of you also doing door rando, be careful not to soft lock in this room right here that Aldrax is in. Because if you don't have wave beam and you go in here, then it is a very definite soft lock. God, it's piston tunnel. I haven't seen this room in ages. I'm just where uh, Jeff is trying to go from here. So Jeff is instead going to go back to Talon. Is might also be thinking about Frigate, albeit has not encountered the thermal yet. Although he may instead be opting to route through Frigate Crash Site to get to Life Grove, compared to going through the rest of Chozo. Yeah, Frigate's definitely going to be on his mind, but I don't think it's going to be super high priority because we haven't seen that thermal yet. Who's winning? I it's hard to tell, to be well, honest. My money's on Chris. This, or sorry, uh, Jeff. I don't know what my brain was doing there. <laughs> Jeff has definitely got various suit, which is a pretty massive advantage. Albeit, Odraxus has done is already in mines, and there's a good chance we could find a beam combo here that is pretty critical. 
Yeah, that's right. That is correct. We have Although Cosmonauts yet, we're making the uh, only the only correct response is that the seed always wins. Very true. What was that in uh, upper elite research? I just got back. Went to go. Grab it some was water. a missile, it seems. That's unfortunate. We're running into quite a few flamethrower doors, getting a little low on missiles. All right, Jeff made his way to Bright Tree Hall. Will we see a bar skip after we do these checks? Seems like the best way to route this. Bar skip into a uh, hydro axis tunnel reverse. Then again, uh, it's possible that Jeff doesn't really feel comfortable doing that. There's thermal. Okay. So far, our minds has reduced a whole lot of nothing. So I have a long ways to go, though. And depending on how cooperative our beam combos are going to be, we can really just get through the rest of mines here. Oh. A wave pirate did not like Aldraxis and decided to shoot them down. That's going to waste a little time. It's a fourth artifact in Life Road. French it's vanilla. French vanilla, indeed. Wait, was it the artifact that's the first item in this room, or was that the X-ray? I forget, because I know I'm. I'm X-ray is the so. first item. Oh, so Spitter that is just is that, that's just the vanilla. That's just vanilla. I mean, it's the it's oh. the wrong artifact, I assume, but you know, it's basically vanilla. Except that would make sense because you're not meant to know about the artifact until you use the X-ray. Yep. And we are gonna be seeing Varskid here. Yep. That looked a little, a little close. Let's see if Jeff has more success with it than Altraxis does. There we go. Nice, got that pretty quickly. Very well done. Now we can also grab Hydraxis Tunnel over here. I imagine we're gonna go into uh, mine straight after this, though. Yeah, I can't see him uh, bothering to do the rest of Frigga. Drax is running real low on missiles there. Definitely gonna go all the way to grab that one. So this is weird because we're leaving Fen completely alone here. And I think the primary reason is that we have no artifacts there and we already have access to so many areas, at least so far. We haven't had any ice spreader or wave buster doors just yet. Yeah, we haven't touched Fen. So yeah, despite the fact that Aldraxxus has completely overlooked various suit, it hasn't seemed to matter so far. Now, we do have artifacts in Magmore, so it's going to matter eventually. Eventually, yeah. And we don't have anywhere near enough E to consider the heat run. Mm -hmm.
Oh, was that a Waybuster door? Well. Can't go any further through mines that way. Looks like it might be fun. You know, it does suck for both players. Because Aldraxxus is going to have to go on the search for Varia, albeit there are not many locations that Varia can be, so it's probably going to find it relatively soon. Jeff, on the other hand, does have Varia, so is going to go straight to Fen after that, I imagine. We can also consider going through Workstation. Yeah, we have options. Turning around here, uh, we're probably going to go through uh, waste disposal. Although Jeff, I think may did Jeff get main quarry item or see it? Yeah, it looks like it. We're going to be doing a relatively straightforward scan dash here to get to waste disposal. This is a very interesting situation at an hour in. You don't usually see Fen being the last area to enter. Yeah, Fen is usually pretty early. Mines here was completely dead. Remind me, where's our last artifact? Uh, PCA. Mm. All the way down in North Mines. Yeah, Jeff is going to run to the store a lot earlier. Yeah, might opt to do uh, security, might opt to do elite research. Not sure. Yep, don't you love it when you go down a very lengthy elevator just to run into a door you can't open. Well, Draxus is going to heat run Magapool here. We have gravity suits, so we can, even if we fail the scan dash, we can get out relatively quickly. Just got to be a little wary of our health. Yeah, this is a normal heated room, not one of the super heated rooms like uh, Lava Lake. So we can absolutely, uh, we can absolutely manage this. Yes, although we do have to be a little bit careful. They don't get the scan might dash on the way back. Just, might, might just want to go through training chamber, honestly. Oh, uh, true, yeah. We just yeah. got through piston tunnel. Yeah, it looks like that's what Audraxis has decided to do. I think the reason Jeff skipped out on... A lot of these early mines checks was to try and see if they can go all the way down to PCA with the equipment we already have. So I, think I guess it's also this routes a bit cleaner just because we don't have to do the laser. Yeah, that's what I think as well. It was easier to go down or processing and down elite research. Although it looks like we got knocked down. Aldraxxus gets an artifact. Yeah, it's a lot easier to commit down than it is to commit up. I think this is the first time I've seen a randomizer race where both players go through Piston Tunnel at least once. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's funny. Piston Tunnel is one of these rooms that just never comes up normally. Yep. Because nobody wants to do Training Chamber. Training Chamber sucks. Yep. We hate yep. it. Jeff is going to be using charged plasma sh shots to uh, defeat Philip because uh, we are conserving our missiles to some degree. And Philip yes, is have... 20 of them. Yes, I believe the exact amount is 28. Maybe 26. That it's quite a few. Sounds about right. Twenty-four. Thank you, Cosmonaut. Thank you. Now, well, Drax is going to be opting to do reverse flagra. This is a pretty mm. speedy check with what we have. Yeah. Albeit, still not that speedy, but definitely the fastest it can possibly be. Has not yet went to Tower of Light. I'm worried they may have forgotten about that check, given that they did enter Main Plaza earlier. And did we ever see a Tower Chamber check? Um, no, actually, because Jeff had crashed and didn't seem willing to try and go through it again. Mm, that could be interesting. And he was curious as to whether or not Aldraxxus would experience the same thing, and he asked about it. If they could, uh, if a TO could confirm that this is a bug for both players. Let's hope it doesn't make this seat logically impossible. It's a pretty small chance. Yeah, let's hope. Looks like Aldraxxus is not going for any sort of multi-bomb uh, slot powerbomb strats. So it makes this fight uh, quicker than doing it normally because we can skip its death cutscene. I'm surprised to not see them even attempting powerbomb strats. I suppose it does take time if you want to try and set up or align yourself appropriately. Yeah, it's pretty precise, though. There's not really a lot of point to just uh, going in, uh, trying to YOLO, because you're not going to get it. But, uh, I I don't know. I, it just seemed like something Azraxus would do. Jeff is out of mines now. Yep. Instead of warping the star, opting to go this way, so I'm assuming Jeff is interested in reverse friggin'. Yeah. It seems to be. Both players have been very thorough. Well, mostly. Aldraxxus did forget uh, Tower of Light, which is unfortunate. But I'm assuming they will probably be... Uh, eventually be forced to go there, because we won't have no more logical checks. Jeff will also save some time here because he's doing forget backwards, so it's going to be no power conduits. Uh, the rooms are just easier to traverse backwards in most cases. Yep. So I think Flogger was just a missile, if I saw correctly. Mm, that's unfortunate. We don't have a Sun Chamber artifact, right? No, nope. no, we don't. The last one's in PCA, that's right. I'll check which door that is. It's hard to see with this lighting. Yes, it's very, very blue. Yeah, powerbomb doors tend to be, uh, well, they have more muted colors compared to a super door, so with this darker lighting, it's hard to tell. Grab it a missile. Might as well. We need all the ones we can get. Alright, how about our ghosts? Do we have some looking ports?
Hold on, I'll be right back. Yep. Meanwhile, Jeff encountering that cargo freight lift is unfortunately nothing. Gonna be doing a warp to start, and I'm assuming we just go straight to Fen by this point. What are we missing? Uh, well, Jeff is missing Ice Spreader and Wave Buster. And Aldraxxus is missing Various Suit along with those two super combos as well. And Various Suit is currently in Tower of Light, which was locked by Power Bombs earlier, and Aldraxxus never got the PB expansion in the half pipe. Yeah, Probably yeah, take so a look at the map to really realize far, what. Pretty far out of the way. They're going to yes. figure it out pretty quickly here, though. Yeah, they're trying to figure out uh, what's logically next. I think they're going to see Tower of Light here in just a second. Meanwhile, Jeff, I expect we'll either... Uh, I expect their route is going to be go get Tower Chamber and then go to the Magmore Elevator and then go to Fen. That's kind of what I'm expecting to see here. Do you have any expectations? Oh no, we're just going straight to Magmore. Maybe a Plasma Processing Workstation? Or Fen. Well, we don't know whether or not Waybuster Ice Spare is required based on the fact that they actually went out of their way to place Waybuster doors. It makes me think that we're going to encounter them on our way to Lower Mines. We're going to have to run into quite a few doors there that have a good chance of being blocked off. Yes. We're going to have to go... Uh, if, if we, We're probably going to go through Workstation just to see if that gets us anywhere. Uh, Jeff's looking very inclined to do that right now. Yes. So, Aldraxxus has gone to the Lava Lake. I'm assuming this whole point is going to be a warp to start, unless they're opting to try and heat run in order to fish out a pickup. No, they took a save. Hmm. Okay. Well, the only thing we can do here is get Lava Lake and escape back to the save station. This first room is not that hot, but Lava Lake is going to be so much hotter. So going going into Heat Run through the front is just absolutely uh, terrible. Yes. It's the Which worst really way to definitely. Heat Run. Yep. And this looks like a death, yeah. Yeah, we took a save, so it's no big. I guess they must have overlooked uh, Tower of Light on the map. Maybe. Meanwhile, Jeff is going to be checking out plasma processing real quick. I've become a lot more inclined to do this check on the way, even though it is relatively slow. Eh, it's you not can, nearly you can get that through as it. hard as Flogger. Those are all much worse. Yeah, definitely. You know, you don't you don't want to underestimate this check. You can do it pretty quickly. Yeah, it really isn't that bad. Just a missile. Since we are on this layer after we have picked up Storage Depot B, those parasites are there that we can just dash off of. Unless that layer is changed by just having grapple, but I think that's the Storage Depot B item that changes it. Uh, e tank and workstation. Was... Oh, okay. Vanilla. Hmm. So we're gonna be taking the quarantine elevator. We're just taking a save. I'm not sure whether or not it's a good idea to try and go to PPC from here. I don't think it is. It looks like a Drax is gonna try and enter Magworth in the back. This could actually be good for Aldraxus. Cause oh, we're gonna be going obviously to, none uh, of these rooms PPC. are super heated. Yeah, and we can enter Fen through this way. It looks like. So this might actually work out really well for all Jaraxxus. We might be able to mitigate, mitigate various suit as a whole. We do still need it for the artifacts. Oh, true. 
Remember, Warrior Shrine and uh, Upper Shores. Yeah, very true. We may be uh, able to heat run for those items, given that we find out the appropriate amount of E tanks. And Aldraxxus may try and do checks. We don't have that many. Uh, we have three now, and we're going to get a fourth in workstation. That's not a lot of E. I think uh, the minimum for that would probably be six. That sounds about right to me. So, we're going to need quite a few more. Really? So, at my skill level, I would probably want like nine, maybe eight. But obviously, yeah, that's, it takes it's some probably going to be a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more skilled with that. Probably doesn't need quite so many. That's an that ice spreader. looks like an ice spreader. Or PPC is. That's a oh. combo. That's a combo. That's an ice spreader. Oh wow! <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice How spreader. Convenient. That is indeed the Metroid Prime randomizer equivalent of leaving your key under the doormat. Getting PB drop. We have like six, so I just, we're good. Let's just hope no wave buster doors come to ruin our day. Please check the boom box if available. That's a white door at the top of the room, so that's gonna be uh, that... perfectly fine. I think that's just a wave door. I'm gonna try and do a pirate skip here. Nice, got it. <laughs> That's phase oh, on. See, this is why you always check boombox. Boom. There's phase on suit. Alright, so this is. could possibly just be go mode. Uh, also very to well. Skip this very, in front. Well. very tiny standable you have to land on here. Very, I totally okay. missed it when I was trying to. You know, there we go, nice. Room out. Both front and backward pirate skips. The front skip is hard to do quickly enough to save time. Although I think Jeff saved a little bit of time by doing that. Uh, we so also save our missiles. Uh, true. Although we don't have to fight the pirate. We can just jump off its head or jump off the standable Jeff used. True. Okay, no way Buster doors just yet. That's a blue. We're good. What That's was that? This one, that shaft. It looks kind of oddly colored. So, Drax is just going through Fen. The only thing that could be here that could be important is Wave Buster. So far, so good. Oh, that's purple. I see purple. Is that Wave Buster? No, that's a little scary. I'm gonna be using Charged Plasma here so we can conserve our missiles. Nothing in Qmon. That's Wave Buster. Oh, Wave that's Buster, a wave buster required. Buster. So yeah. No way around. Uh, time to go to Fend and look for that. The Ice Spreader could be pretty influential if there's a lot of Ice Spreader doors in Fend. I think I should teach Jeff the uh, wall crawl to PCA. You can actually go out of bounds here, Omega Research, and go straight to PCA to get the item in there. It's a pretty Ooh, that does sound tool. handy. Doing substantial to get a P PC faster.
Very nice. This is a high five in the sense that Aldraxxus and Chef are going through the same elevator in different directions. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. It would have been beneficial if Aldraxxus were made in Fen, although they have no way of knowing that can't go that way. Unless there was a door blocking entryway to any other room that I didn't notice. I didn't see anything like that. Oh, looks like they got stuck on some collision there. It was weird, and then got bonked by this pirate. Okay, there's ice spreader. So where do we go first? At the very least, let's check Qmon, which I think Jeff was doing. Do we try and go for the big boy, Dwayne the Rock Thardis? I don't think we do. Oh, trying to that buffer to change that Metroid. Fortunately, not going to cooperate today. Oh, and wow. wow, okay, instant Thardis. No hesitation. We do have a lot of power bombs, missiles, plasma beam. I mean, we can tear through Thardis here. We even have thermal. Choose to. Yeah. I am also surprised by going for Thardis immediately. Maybe Jeff feels behind and is trying to go for a big gamble here. Although it has been over Jeff's an hour. Jeff's routed pretty okay. All right, Drax is also going to pick up their phase on suit. Now it's just that uh, berry that's really going to be giving Jeff the lead. Indeed. Unfortunately, Thardis is not really let us cooperate to get any plasma snipes. Oh, that was a hit there, nice. One more should do it. Oh, it's barely missed. There we go. That is a super door, Aldraxxus. Yeah, I Spreader's not gonna crack that one. If Wave Buster is on Thardis, that'll be huge for Jeff. That would be enormous. Pretty insane. Oh, fortunately, Aldraxxus gave the pirate the stink eye, and now it's angry. Yeah, the thing about those elite pirates is that they're only able to start attacking you once they uh, turn to face you. And they're not very fast at turning, so what you usually see runners do is they'll, also, they'll just constantly strafe around it, so it never manages to enter its aggressive phase, enter its aggressive state. Yes. Uh, but Aldraxxus did not do that. Yeah, yeah Thardis Also, Aldraxxus reset out, but the problem here is that they still don't have ice spreader, so they're going to have to go back yeah. from workstation, which Four I was going to save that. Yeah. So, lost those two items from that. Yes. Not great. 
I believe someone mentioned that transport access was an ice fire door, so may want to go back for that. Yeah, looks like it. Nothing. Yeah, that was a nice paradox there. So, we have all of Fen to clear on in the search for our way buster. It could still be in uh, tower chamber. It's true. The checkers remain isolated for this whole scene. I imagine we'll probably yeah, have a uh, discussion with the TOs if that's where it is. Was that it? Or no, uh, Jeff is using a uh, standable there to reach the door? Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it's Frost Cave. Oh, well, not going that way. Going there, not going there. We've still got labs, we've still got all front. Uh, excuse us, Hunter Metroid. The room doesn't actually deload or reload when you hit the low trigger for Fen's Edge. So, that Hunter Metroid will be waiting for you if you go back that way. of Farfen we go through. More flame for it. Been a lot of those today. Is it gravity chamber? Uh, that looks like a missile on number. Did it look like anything important? Oh, is that oh, it? Oh, there it is! It's it. That's it, that's it! Wow. Okay. Pretty that's early. Go mode. That's go mode. Yeah, we are in go mode indeed. That's not a bad spot, given our circumstances. It would've been bad if we started from the front of Fen instead of the back. Yeah, that would have been nasty. And thankfully it did route well since we were forced to go through the bottom mode, or the bottom route instead of the mid route. So yeah, in reality we only did, what? Thardis, Cumon, Transport Access, and then we just... Frost Cave. Ch check Frost Cave, and then we just immediately got Waybuster in, in Ground yeah, Chamber. that's fast. I wonder how differently Eldrax would have routed this if they had found Varia early on. You know, it's really hard to say. Also, high five. Both runners passing each other. Thing is, it's more difficult for Eldrax just because they still have yet to find Varia, and we have those two Magmar artifacts. It's definitely going to throw the wrench in the mix. Oh, time for our trek through lower mines. Indeed. Now we have to take the journey to PCA. Oh, 
Oh, Drax is also running into that Waybuster door. Unfortunately, cannot open that. Say, all Drax's best chance of getting back into this is if Lower Mines has a lot of E tanks. Even then, I do think they're just behind behind. Even if they had the very suit at this point, I don't think it would be. Uh, yeah, Jeff's routing has been pretty solid. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been really really clean. Andrax is going to be running into the Waybuster. You have to farming some drops here. These guys can drop anything from health, missiles, and PBs. It's not a bad idea. Andrax is finally getting their last team combo. Yep. Don't worry, Jeff. These boxes at MQA will drop a lot of missiles for you. Yeah, we could see uh, him actually shooting one of the turrets after disabling perimeter defenses. Because he, so he just really needs those missiles. Fortunately, Burrow Wars cannot be damaged with Plasma Beam for some reason. Alright, so it does look like Aldraxis is going to continue in the mines. Target a little too early there. The Hunter Metroids in this room are very, very annoying. It can knock you off, so you generally want to take care of them. You, you don't change yep. it in this room. Is this uh, Fungal Hall A? This is indeed Fungal Hall A. Nice Scrapple Dash. That was... That was... I, I, I think Jeff is just showing off now. Yeah. Grapple tech is just very, very underutilized in Prime, just because nobody picks up the grapple beam. Yep. Tends to not be uh, that useful. Yes, and it's also basically useless in the uh, any percent of the run, because it's so late in the game, and Space Jump just already does everything the grapple wishes it could do. Yep. I think we're going to take a quick pit stop at the 
missile refill station, of course. Yep. This actually refills power bombs as well. This is one of only three missile, missile refills in the game. The other two are in uh, Hall of Elders and uh, the Impact Crater Missile Station. Yep. Very few. All right, Jeff going for fast MQB strat. We have phases, we only... so we don't have to worry too much about health here. Yeah, given that we have all the suits, this provides a 50% damage reduction. So yes, we're, yes. And we're also immune to phase on, so we don't have to worry about falling there at all. We're probably just going to be doing the slow way, though. That one is really tricky, but no, so it's not really a big loss that you don't get it. Yep. I'll do access recollecting that phase on suit. No E tanks and mines. It's bad news bears for Aldraxxus. Yep. We are not heat running today. Alright, all that's left is OP, standing in the way between PCA and us. Yeah, you want to approach it from the side so that way it won't face you and it'll just be yeah. stuck. I mentioned earlier that Elite Pirate Quirk, that actually applies to Omega Pirate as well. Uh, Omega Pirate is actually just a, uh, it, the, sort of the same underlying code gets used uh, for all the different Elite Pirates, and OP is one of them. Yep. You're not going to be going for a trooper skip. You can lay a power bomb under OP to interrupt this anim animation, and it'll skip spawning these pirates. I think we get plaza pirates, though, which are easily dealt with, because plaza beam is broken. It looked like Jeff wanted to lay a power bomb for that first appearance of OP, but unfortunately did not quite get it. Oh dear. Was not locked on for that super. Fortunately not gonna be a one cycle OP. Though it is pretty easy to get the armor plates off again. Fortunately, we're going to get even more troopers here, because no trooper skip. <laughs> Jeff typed in, no pizza today, the race time chat. For context, Jeff was suggesting using a one power bomb strat, or a power bomb only strat for OP, and Reggie said that He'll give him pizza if he successfully does that. And unfortunately, no pizza today. Oh, I'm getting pizza today. No pizza for him. <laughs> Plenty of pizza. <laughs> oh. Just a Misano Pete. Would have been better if it was a nothing item, if you ask me. I think all our E tanks are hiding in uh, Fundurana. 
Yeah, this is definitely not a good way. for Aldraxis. These Thunder Metroids are uh, bowling them. Artifact of Wild. We're going to take a save warp. Yep. On to Riddles and Exo and Essence. So this is going to be a full tracker seed. Yeah. Well, that seems to be that, a trend. That, that tends to be what happens with Orlando, yeah. Yep. And you end up full clearing quite a bit. Except Fendrana was left relatively quiet. Only important thing was that wave buster. Unfortunately, the Metroids here in Fungal Hall B are giving Odraxis some trouble. There's a lot of them, and they can really screw you over. Yeah, the Fungal Halls are definitely some of the hardest rooms to work with in this game. Indeed. So I believe Jeff drew a smiley face there. Now let's enter the honorary smiley face in chat. I think Jeff just tried to do flyby skip there, but I don't think he's practiced it. Yeah. It's a frame perfect trick, more or less, so that's going to be quite difficult to get. Yep. There's a setup, but doesn't look like Jeff knows it, but just tried to go for it regardless. Ridley's health has been deleted. Power of the boost ball. Do you mind explaining uh, why the boost ball does that? Well, you see, for some reason, they thought Ridley should be able to be damaged by boost ball. And boost ball deals, I think it's 20,000 damage per frame. Or at the very least, and it's a lot of damage. And it just completely annihilates Ridley's health down to its grounded phase because there's a damage cap on its fly phase. So yeah, makes this fight really trivial with boosts and long and arduous without it. And there's Ridley down. Yep. Whereas Aldrax, this is on OP right now. Alright, I just double checked the damage table and boost does 50,000 damage per frame. Also confirmed in chat. So, it's a lot to say the least. I wonder if we're going to see use of the missile station here in Impact Crater. It barely ever sees any use. It doesn't look like it's going to see any use today. He, honestly, I'm surprised that more people don't use the missile crate, uh, the uh, crater missile station. Missile Nicely done for one cycle, repeat. 
Just note that as Jeff is entering EXO, Aldrax has just finished up OP. Please show Flamethrower on Power Face. Doesn't look like we're getting it. That is unfortunate. Chamber 1 wrapped up. PCA picked up on the Drax's side. Okay. I saw some good RNG. So, Drax is opting to warp to start from here. Probably realizes what Varia is locked behind is going to infer where to go next. Ice wave power is pretty good RNG. Mm, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Another ice star, not bad at all. We're also going to be able to skip this phase. Next phase upcoming here, thanks to ice spreader once again. Was that ice wave? Because if so, that was really good. You always want to skip over the wave part. Oh no, that was ice power wave. Ah oh, no, that's no good. Yeah, we wanted to uh, get the flyby shots. We would have been able to skip wave phase there, but instead opted to just roll under XO. Not a big time loss. Okay, it looks like Eldrax is finally making their way to Tower of Light. It's probably not going to be happy about what they're going to find there. Okay, so Draxus did not crash in Tower Chambers, so that was just on Jeff's side. Jeff was interested to know whether or not that was a thing with the uh, Steed or just uh, his Dolphin. We'll Once again, sure. another Ice Star. Very nice. Nice spreader. Yep. That looks like Power Read. More ice beam. Okay, we are not complaining. Oh. Drax is finally, uh, I guess, that very soon. Yep, hour 48 minutes in. I'm not going to be checking Tower Chamber. Unsurprisingly, there's nothing you can have for us. And now we're on to Essence.
Alrighty, time for essence. All visors make this fight pretty trivial. That is a weird spot for the first pool. Probably closer to XO than Jeff would like. Okay, that's a much more manageable spot. There's our first cooldown. Second pool, nice, very good. We are good for doing some attack cancels. Should be good to just let her rip now. And that is GG. Jeff finishes with a race time time of 153.7. And while Drax is just wrapping up the artifact cleanup here in Magmore. All things considered, it was really only Varia that set these two players apart. Aldraxxus yeah. is not even that all far behind as a result. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Hello congratulations. Jeff. Thank you, thank you. GG. Whew. Well that, done. Uh, the wave buster was just... I, I thought I'd be smart and go around the PPC elevator, and yet again, I was stopped by another wave buster door, so... Yep. Uh, so happened to get... D do some good pathing, found it pretty quickly after. Felt felt pretty good that seed, not too bad. Yeah, you run it pretty solidly. The only uh, main, uh... The misstep I'd say is doing Thardis, just because I, I had Thermal and I thought maybe I was trying to follow the progression and uh, yeah, mm. just uh, red herring. Yeah, we were all pretty surprised by the instant Thardis, but <laughs> I respect it nonetheless. Listen, also, did you see the seed hash? Uh, it I was, not. uh, it was ice quarantine, uh, or quarantine ice bamboo. So I was like, mm, quarantine, <laughs> red flag. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately not, though. Yeah. Yeah, Aldraxxus just wrapped up getting all the artifacts. The main issue here was that Aldraxxus got, uh, various suit about 12 minutes ago. Ah, uh, that was yeah. in, uh, yeah, that was in Tower of Light. Indeed. You Question. got the Powerbomb expansion early on, but yep. Eldraxxus did not. The first Powerbomb was the main PB in Rue Cave. Mm. Now, question. What was... What was in Elder Chamber? Did Eldraxxus see that? Um... Because, or, not Elder, Elder Chamber. Elder Chamber was uh, way... Ta but... No, sorry. Um, Tower, Tower Chamber. Chamber. That's the one. Yeah, Tower Chambers was like a missile. Uh, yeah, we saw. So I, oh, I was concerned. Okay, I, I was concerned if that was just on my end or something else. So must have just been on my end. Um, yeah. I yeah. have paused the credits to reveal that, uh, you know, Missile Launcher was in Hall of the Elders. Void That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting spot for that. basically the validator of COVID for Dorando. Yeah, uh, let's see. Anything else of note? Yeah, um, I did not get my free pizza from Reggie today. <laughs> uh, if you were yeah, wondering why my that. OP was so, uh, so scuffed. <laughs> I was, I, I've done the timing 
to do the video like once and then i have not practiced it since and it's been like a month now so uh yeah definitely <laughs> yeah i, I was just some context yeah so i respect uh, the attempt at the fly by skip by the way yeah, yeah it was it was a good track i i like i've seen the video of the setup i just didn't uh yeah, I think I missed a shot as well. And then when I, uh, yeah, when I pulled up the map, I stopped holding A, so I just let go of the charge shot. So, <laughs> yeah. Whoops, yeah. Uh, phase on suit and elite control access was pretty funny since the wave buster door on the other side forced me all the way around. Yep, always check boombox. Always check boombox. Always. Oh, tower yeah, turn was the... an E tank. Okay. Yeah, and then the flamethrower appeared a lot. Yeah, a lot of flamethrower. But it's that early on, um, you're not too surprised. But logically, you would have had to go through Frigate to get it, because it was in... Uh, or sorry, no. Wait, no. Never mind, I'm thinking of something else. Disregard. <laughs> uh, everything else, though, was pretty good. Didn't... Uh, really struggle with anything except for uh, Talon Canyon right off the start lost like a minute <laughs> just trying to do that oh uh, yeah animal. I remember that <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that didn't a, help the race nerves like here. right off the bat yeah but congrats on your win played yeah, pretty solidly Drax is just wrapping up for lead yeah, Drax is uh it was hard routing around Varia but they did pretty well yeah, they certainly. took a look at Lava Lake and then they went to Twin Fires and went to PPC and then went to Farfen and did all of Hines until they warped back to start afterwards and found Vary afterwards. So did, uh, uh, you... did either of us, did Adraxa step into uh, early Fen at all? Uh, no. Nope. Basically, okay. they did the same amount of Fen as you did. Gotcha. Except, yep. uh, not Thardis. Yeah, I was really hoping that, uh, because all of Fendrana was open, I, I thought maybe I'd get some more time by skipping it if it was nothing and if Odraxus went there. But, yeah, it seems like we both mm -hmm. had a very a similar enough path. Yeah, the, uh, the Wave Buster in um, Gravity Chamber. It's definitely it was a happy sight to see it that close to the ppc elevator at least mm -hmm. and then uh the ice spreader in ppc with the ice spreader door right in front of it was also yeah really comical as said by baja leaving the key to the door under the under the doormat yep yeah it just had a fake rock in the way yep question from baja by the way asking about Choosing the climb gathering hall because it was an ice door up top or because of spider being up there? Choosing to climb gathering hall. Uh, I think it was yeah, because early on I just before check, the water yeah, hall, yeah. Yeah, usually I just check. And, and I mean, like, it could have been ice beam up there for all I knew and would have led straight into progression. So, I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. And it's like, if you're just looking at the door and thinking that that's not going to be progression up there, I think it bites you. So I just thought it would be safer to check it then. Because usually I also route in, if I have bombs, I would route in Zoid first before Central or, uh, Dynamo. Just because if I get Spider along the way, it just sucks to add that extra backtrack in. So I usually take that path first and then go to right. Dynamo. Okay. Yeah, fair. I tend to just try and do it immediately, but it's a good argument. Yeah, I think Varia was the real issue. Aldraxxus did route pretty well around it. Yeah, also, I'd like fun. to say this is probably the first race I've seen that both players went to Piston Tunnel. Nice. Yeah, Piston Tunnel doesn't <laughs> come up nearly as often as it deserves to. Fantastic room, very pretty. <laughs> Underrated. Yeah. yeah, I saw, well, once, I had all the beams, and I figured I was going to risk it just going straight for artifacts at that point, and hopefully find my uh, 
beam combos or phase on suit along the way so I did the easy ones that I knew I could do um, if I was gonna get wave buster locked at training chamber I was gonna uh, do the wall crawl uh, get mm -hmm. that one out of the way. What else do we have? Uh, Life Pro, Hat, those were all easy ones. I figured when I was doing Hat, I could uh, I could route in the back of Frigate as well. Again, yeah. the thermal baiting me there, but... Uh, yeah, it was just... I, I figured go for artifacts and just hope for, uh, hope for the combos. Wow. It worked out enough. Yeah. It was some pretty solid routing. Yeah, felt pretty, felt pretty good while I was doing it, at least. Um, yep. Didn't think I made too many, too many bad choices. Just uh, need to keep working on my speed as usual. Yeah, this is gonna be a solid, what, thirteen minute, fourteen minute one. Yeah, but I mean, right. I, I mean, for door rando, that's that's pretty close, though. Honestly, I think like door rando yeah. seeds can vary a lot. I mean, if Audrexis or I had done front fen, I mean, that would have been a huge time loss for either of us. Certainly. Yeah, what made you uh, hold that off actually on your first step through Magmore? Um, what did hold that off? I remember I, you checked Transport's Tunnel A, and you went to yes. do Lava Lake, and then you went back to Chozo. And then I think I wrote it into Hall of the Elders. No, okay. you did Training Chamber, and then you went to... Um, oh, was that... Oh, yeah, Cowan right, that Canyon. was a part yeah, of my... Uh, yeah, that was a part of my artifact uh, collection, so I was just... I grabbed the Fiery Shores and Warrior Shrine artifact, and then I figured I'd grab the uh, Training Chamber artifact, go to Life Grove and then down through mines and hope to God I am able to make it all the way to PCA. So that was my thinking mm. there, was I was just, I left it because I knew where the artifacts were. I figured I'd try to get the hint and just get lucky with the beam combo doors. Uh, it wasn't the case, but it still thankfully worked out in a way um, that uh, Ice Spreader and Wave Buster were pretty close to where I needed to be at least. Yeah. I see. Okay. That makes a good amount of sense. It, this would probably would have been a really nice seed to have been able to do uh, the wall crawl to PCA. Yes, that's. I was honestly thinking that. I was like, I bet Sam's bringing that up right now <laughs> because yeah, if you <laughs> yeah, had, I did. Uh, I'm like, maybe I should teach Jeff how to do this. If it's not too bad, then uh, happy to do it. But yeah, the uh, people don't like that wall crawl. It definitely could have been a big, uh, a big game changer here if either one of us knew it. Um, but yeah, mm. I wasn't. Definitely not comfortable. It's a long trek. And by not comfortable, I don't know how to do it in the first place. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll do access wrapping up Exo here. Can take care of Essence real quick. Excuse me for a second. Pretty soon. Yep. Not a bad pool location, but uh, probably want Essence to hop a little bit farther away from Exo. Oh, looks like, yeah, definitely a good spot. If Audraxis can keep Essence here, then this will be a fairly good fight. Metroids is something I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. For this reason. Yeah. You can take him out of 
with the phase on pool, but I don't think that's as consistent. It does drain a little bit of it. Yeah, and I mean it takes your attention off of Exo. Just one or essence one one more second that uh, essence can jump towards the the corpse. Indeed. All right, here come those pool cancels. Shouldn't have yeah. to do too many. About uh, three more. Oh, that's a little bit of a scary spot. It's gonna be harder to hit the phase on beam shots because Essence is farther so, away. I don't think yeah, this will do it. Yeah. Yeah, I need mean, another pool. Yeah, yeah, you always want Essence to be close to you, so all those uh, spread of shots will work. Think of uh, the phase on beam as a very rapid fire shotgun. It's gonna be hard to hit your whatever you're Not shooting at. On the right, it's fine. Oh no, I was. At, at first, I was, there was actually watching sketch. the. Uh, I was watching the Twitch stream, so it was at a point where it wasn't a bad location. But yeah, it was a little bit off. I do have the restream up now. <laughs> that would help. <laughs> oh, bonk. And that is GG for our Draxus. GG. The time of 5.09.01 or point one. <laughs> yes, get those GGs in the chat. Show your support. We should have them in here soon. Yep. Alright. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a good race. Some uh, pretty trolly doors, but nothing too terrible. The seed could have gone on for a while, depending on where Wade Buster was. Yeah, definitely. Ready, and there's all your access. Welcome, welcome, GG. Hello, thank you. GG, awesome. Yeah, I mean, for door rando, close, I would say. Uh, yeah, pretty yeah, close. I, I don't know, 15 minutes is a lot, but... Uh, I don't know. I, I, th I mean, I've seen some pretty long door rando seeds, so 15 minutes doesn't seem as, as much... I, yeah, me, this I wasn't a long one, though, so... No, and I heard you uh, You also skipped the front of Fen, so awesome choice there. Uh, well, it wasn't really a choice. <laughs> oh yeah, you had... Uh, Varia was blocking you as well, that was something Sam brought up. Yeah, hmm. I just completely... I forgot that I hadn't done Tower of Light, because I forgot that it was the Super Door blocking me on that hmm. path. So, I, I was like, I thought it had to be on Plant, and when Plant was nothing, I was confused. Um, and I was just like, okay, well, wherever it was, I hope that, um, you know, the other beam combos I need aren't in the front of Magmore, and we can just try mines from far Magmore, mm -hmm. and and then like around when I got Ice Spreader and like I got Walt by the Wave Buster door is when I figured out what I had forgotten. But then it was just like, okay, we play for Wave Buster being back here now, um, and then we go back for Vario on the way to artifacts, like, after go mode. Mm, yeah. That very soon was the, uh, the big, uh, wrench that was thrown in. I know Jeff got the PB expansion the half pipe really early, which, uh, led the Tower of Light before main PBs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I... I knew I'd forgotten that when I got to... I think when I got to the Gathering Hall save and I was gonna recheck Dynamo. I realized I'd forgotten it, and I was just like, well, I don't think I can afford to, like, go back for it now, so I just hope that, like, I run into mains, or I get another expansion. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, like, maybe the one less ammo kind of hurt. It, it also, like, hurt me because I got hints later, and boost ball was at Artifact Temple, so it hurt. I could have had that earlier, but... Yeah, the, uh... The artifacts where it threw me off a little bit because I uh, I went to check them after I because I crashed at uh, tower chamber. That's what I was posting in uh, the race time room, and uh, 
I thought I had already checked artifacts at that point and just thought I had lost them, and then I had to go all the way back and uh, <laughs> and check that it was actually a PB door that was locking me. So, uh, man, it was a funny one, but yeah, it was a oh, weird. weird crash. I think it was a just on my end because apparently you've you went through successfully. Yeah, I don't have any issues. I will have to look at my settings. <laughs> yeah. That that was a weird crash, but it can happen sometimes. But yeah. Um I don't know. I would call this a uh, straightforward door rando seed, but it had a few it had a few wrenches to throw in there. It, the gears are not turning cleanly. They're, they're they're getting jammed up a little bit. Yeah, you gotta apply some oil on that. Yeah, definitely yeah. overall not not bad. I mean, like as far as door randos go, being able to sub two hour it is, I think, a good call. If you if you get an hour and a half to two hours, that's like an ideal door rando time. At least for me personally, <laughs> I can't go much for us faster than that. Yeah, they tend to be pretty thick seeds with two C's. But yeah, you guys have any more comments on the race? Uh, I think I did about as well as I could have. I think if I found Varia, then I just like clear Fen for nothing. So yeah, it definitely kind of worked out. A, could have definitely been a troll of uh, a suit placement. Yeah, I uh, I didn't touch it. I had uh, I had most of my items except for uh, wave beam and uh, or not wave beam uh, wave buster and ice spreader when I started routing in just all the artifacts. And so I came in from Talon, got uh, the two Magmor artifacts, just happened to check uh, what was that transport tunnel A uh, on the way to Fen Shorelines, and then uh, hopped back. And went for a uh, training chamber and just did the rest of the artifacts from there. It was definitely a good call, but yeah, I could, I mean, could have easily had phase on suit and early fan or anything really. Just amazing that it was, it was that dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like you played a lot better too, so. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, if you watch the yeah. first minute or so and you watch my Talon Canyon, uh, you'll see that I was getting stressed very quickly. <laughs> Talon Canyon, that early? Uh, yes. <laughs> you won't have to watch long. You'll see me yeah. uh, fail a standable, that, that standable to Brute Cave uh, several times. Yeah, I uh, lost about 40 seconds. I, I don't know what was happening, <laughs> but yeah. It was, okay. uh, but the rest of it, uh, my movement was pretty good. I was pretty happy with the performance overall, but yeah, definitely some shady spots here and there. Hmm. Nobody's perfect, so no worries. Yep. Room for improvement. Of course. But yeah. Well, awesome. make yeah, sure GGs. to follow our runners and check it out in the chat. Exclamation mark R. Jeff and Aldraxis, both prime players, and I know Aldraxis does remastered runs, which is pretty awesome, to say at least. Jeff uh, does prime right now. For the... Like two weeks total. Mostly a super retroid player. Oh, yeah. That is definitely more your field of expertise. I yeah, need make to get sure also Super Metroid. Metroid. I need to play that more. We also make sure to check out our trackers, Baja Blood and Ward Traveler. Thank you both for clicking on the buttons, making sure everybody knows who has what. Make sure to follow my co commentator Pierre. Thank you for working with me. Thank you very much. I do apologize. I'm getting a bit tired at this point. <laughs> I don't blame you. Dorando, pretty hard to keep track of sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely a bit of a strain. Mm -hmm. Well, with that being said, make sure to check out the rest of the races. You can take a peek at the schedule uh, that Jeff just put by typing an exclamation mark NPR. And yeah, we'll see you next mission. Take care, folks. See you next mission. Cheers.